Hi friends, in this tutorial I want to show you how we can find a function for a given point. By hand calculation we can do by least square method or by Lagrange manipulation method. But let's see how easily by Excel we can find the function within minutes. Okay. Select the data from insert, chart, scatter. Okay. First, let us uh, make a good representation of the data so I change the minimum of the x-axis axis option choose 20 I choose 15 okay okay this is good and why from 80 start I choose to 60 okay just Select the, uh, the pointers and right click a trend line. First, let us display equation and display R squared, which is a number, show us how the function represent our data. Okay. Okay, you see for stride, uh, for linear, uh, the correlation factor or R squared equal to 0 0.9308. For exponent, it's equal to 0 0.9. Logarithmic, you can choose which uh, function you want. I choose polynomial. You see for second order, the R squared 0 0.9308. I choose to a better representation, how much it uh, approximate, approximate from one it means that the function has a better representation for the data I choose the order okay by choosing order from 2 to 3 you see correlation factor or R square equal to 1 it means that the function represent exactly the data let's check how this function represent our data okay area represent y value and elevation is x okay y equal to 0 0.04 multiply x to the power 3 minus 3.6 multiply uh, c11 to power 2 plus 1.109 1 multiply c11 minus 980 okay just input the value for elevation which is 20 you see it exactly we get the same number 80 input 25 you exactly get 120 because this correlation factor shows uh, the accuracy of the function if we put 40 it's 180 it depends the correlation factor that's all. I hope it can be helpful. Have a nice time.